Welcome to another installment of Anime Reviews. Today I'm taking a look at another 80s anime called Maurice the Chojo. It is one of Rumiko Takahashi's earlier works, also part of... Rumiko. Now, this was an anime I've never seen before, and I have watched it for the first time about years ago. Fast forward to 2016, I've seen it again. So, in the words of Helsing920, it's time to kick back and take a look at... Maurice. It begins with a bunch of space jets flying in space, complete with fast-paced animation and kick-ass music. Then, Maurice faces a bunch of laser-toting aliens and a red metal dude smiling, laughing while he pisses himself. <laughs> Rest in peace, Daisuke Gori. Maurice, on the other hand, is six times stronger than an Earthling and has to wear her restraints at all times. That way, she wouldn't overdo things, except she is very responsible for the damages she causes next to Wreck-It Ralph. Maybe she should call Fix-It Felix to fix it. We are then cut to the beat with lyrics, and I'm totally loving that tune. Feels like a music video. And to top that off, we see Lum, Ataru, Jaritan, Rianoski, and her father as cameos. Then we... Hello! Sensors, please. That's better. And it's really disgusting to see roaches crawling in the showers. Well, Maurice's house is rather cheap. Remember, folks, if you take showers in Japan, make sure you have fly swatters and throw them into sticky roach traps. <laughs> We then see a flashback of Maurice when she was a kid when her home planet was destroyed. Sounds familiar when Gordon Shumway's planet was obliterated before he arrived on Earth. It has been revealed that her mother is an airhead, her father is an alcoholic, and that her race are greedy. About Murphy, this nine-tailed fox lackey. Well, he has the power to create nine copies of anyone or anything with his tail to confuse her. Then we are featured to Zombie Sue, a wrestler Maurice fought long ago. The next scene is where Maurice and Murphy are walking in the desert of Tatooine, with more lyrics once again. Speaking of Tatooine, you'll see R2-D2 and Darth Vader in this scene. Why are they in it? A few words. Pop culture references. And to your left, you'll see Alf, our beloved Melmachian. Next, Maurice meets the General, who appears to be pretty small. Well, it's anime, what do you expect? Then, Sue captures Maurice and challenges her to a wrestling match for revenge. And the fans are going wild, am I right, Dan? They sure are, Chuck. Look at those moves. Oh, rope burn! Rope burn! Man, that's got a height. POUND! Huh? What the hell is that cheater up to? <laughs> What a shocker, isn't it? Now that I'm done impersonating wrestling commentators, Murphy tries to get the control but ends up falling into a hole. So, Murphy uses his copies to grab it. After that, Maurice is free and is using her super strength to destroy the base. Until all of a sudden some dude who kinda reminds me of one of the villains from the Gundam series shows up and turns out to be Kagone. Yes, he is voiced by the same guy who did Atara Moroboshi from Urusei Yatsura. Sue tells Maurice that she actually kidnapped him. Kogone says he was bored and decided to try a life of evil. Now, you would think that Maurice would be rich and marry Kogane, right? Nope. Instead, he marries Sue, and in the end, Maurice is poor. AGAIN! Time to wrap things up. Maurice the Chojo is a good, fun, and enjoyable anime I ever watched. It's been quite a long time seeing this OVA, and I wanted to review it for some time. Yeah, the English dub does exist. I think, if I'm correct. Well, folks, until next time, in the words of Big L2K6, this has been Biako. And when it comes to video games, movies, anime, and the like, I am the judge, the jury, and the fucking executioner, and don't you ever forget it. Over and out.